Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing a review on the ROM called the Pac-Man ROM. As I did a tutorial on how to install this ROM, I shall do a review on it, and this is the video on it. So let's just get into it guys. Um, as you can see here, this ROM consists of three ROMs. These ROMs are called AOKP, Mod, Paranoid, Android. It has the latest builds of them, as you can see here. Engine mod, AOKP, Paranoid Android. So yes, um, the uh, Android version is 4.2.2 and this is running on my Galaxy S3. So let's get to the review of this. Um, the ROM has been a great daily driver for me in the past few days and it's given me exceptional battery life. Um, let's go into battery. Um, I've had it for 2 hours and 39 minutes, but as you can see here, it's on 69 or 68 percent, and it's run and it's ran for one hour and two minutes. On Samsung Touch was on the other hand, um, if it was to be that much, it would have only ran for like 48 minutes. So the battery life is absolutely exceptional on this run. Um, the other things are that in this customization there are huge customization settings as you can see here if we click on to launcher it comes with the tree boucher launcher um, I think that's how you pronounce it but I've added apex launcher which is my um, preference so as you can see here it's got apex all around it so it gives more a stock Android look so it's very fluid Go into settings once again. Um, so let's go into lock screen. Um, you can choose through many, many options. As you can see here, let's go into screen security. You can choose the screen lock. So let's go into slide. You can choose a bundle of these settings. So, yep, let's go back. There's automatic lock, power button, instant, menu unlock, and home unlock. So, um, menu unlock basically does so. So, you press the menu button, it'll automatically unlock the device. See, automatically unlocked, and you get what I mean now. And when you, um, it says vibrate, so it's vibrates when you unlock. So, let that tick. Let's go into themes. Um, there are a lot, uh, this is coming from Cyanogen Mod 10.1, so the theming is absolutely great. Um, there is a stock Android theme, and I have chosen a theme for Minogen, because it's a very flat and matte theme. It's very minimalistic, as you can see here. The icons on these are absolutely beautiful. These ones, one, two, three. And the theming is great as well, so that's what I like about this theme. So check it out guys I will link you down below and let's go into settings let's go to system now this is the science and more 10.1 settings so let's go into status bar and you will see a whole bunch of it the settings you go quick pull down so you go from the right it all make comes up like that but when you go from here it'll come up like that so that's good and um, let's just put that to off again so um, another thing is that um, you could do the quick pull down okay wait quick settings is always enabled so quick pull down with the if no notifications are present you can change what you want in quick settings so auto close panel when you close the settings um, quick settings panel show or change the quick settings and you can go tiles and layouts, sound modes, screen timeout modes, network modes, and you can choose the dynamic color. So they automatically update if you change something. But they haven't added much into this, so it's still very, it's in a nightly state right now. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's for Science and Tempo 1, the best things about this ROM. Um, let's go into AOKP. Now this is where the customization begins. As you can see here, this is AOKP with that unicorn looks pretty good um the uh, best things about this is the general UI oh wait 
it's lock screen, general UI. You can change the custom boot animation of the phone. So I have it as a Nexus one. You can choose a carrier label. So you can change it. So like when you pull down here, it won't be water phone or something. You can choose the notification background if you want to. You can make the status by your brightness slider. So like if we go on here and then we can choose a brightness down or up all the way there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think the S2 had it in TouchWiz back in 2011. So yeah, and then there's hardware back to kill, enable kill all button, recent RAM bar, recent RAM bar, and show menu UI overflow. So yep, that's it for the user interface. Let's go into lock screen. The lock screen has a lot of bunch of options as well. Quick pin unlock, lock screen text color. So this is what I like. Um, quick pin unlock basically means that if I were to put a pin, it automatically unlocks without pressing OK. This is something that I liked on the iPhone, but Android you have to press OK, so and that's pretty much a waste of time, so I didn't like that. You can now go lock screen battery percentage on the lock screen, hide initial page hint, so like when I go on the lock screen, you can see here, it, 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 it like stop the page hints. Let's go back. Um, you can go minimize lock screen challenge, enable lock, press to unlock, use widget carousel. You can go volume wake, volume music controls. So like when you're playing music, just long press to skip tracks and that's good. Um, allow all widgets. So um, allow all widgets basically does that all the widgets that you can get on home screen, you can get on your lock screen. So that is really good because um, stock Android 4.2.2 does not allow that. So this is a great customization option. Another good thing is the navigation bar. I don't like it and I haven't found a way to get rid of this navigation bar. I do not like it one but I want to get rid of this. So um if any of you guys know how to get rid of it in this ROM so uh, just let me know. But you can change a lot of options here. Like if you want to change the button action, you can go here and change it. You can change the navigation bar, glow color, menu visibility, and also the button glow animation. So yeah. Um, battery here, you can choose the battery icon style. So like, as you can see here, uh, I put the circle mod because I like that. You can choose the battery bar location. So as you can see here, now I've enabled it here. So you can choose how much, see how much battery you have remaining, but I do not like this. So let's turn that off. And let's go to clock. As you can see here, you can choose a lot of settings in clock style. So let's go here. One is clock style, and then you can choose in the status bar if you want it centered. I like it centered that way. So cancel. You can choose clock short click actions, double click actions, and long click actions, and the clock color as well. I've, I've got it as a hollow color because hollow looks pretty good. Um, you can choose a signal. I don't really play around with that. You can do that. This is like a great ROM for most customization users, power users of Android. And I'd recommend you downloading this. If you haven't downloaded it, check out my tutorial. Go into LED. You can test your LED. You can change the brightness of the LED. LED flash while screen is on. And enable LED while screen is off. So that's always good. And sound, that's all the cool stuff here. And let's go back. Got vibrations. You can make a new vibration. How cool is that? Let's go new. Why isn't this working? It's called tap. So it's tapping. So it just makes a cool vibration. See, as you can see here. Um, so that's for AOKP. This is a great um, bundle of settings for a ROM, for any ROM as well. So that is AOKP. Now let's go to. Paranoid Android. Well, Paranoid Android basically allows you to change the DPI of all your settings. So as you can see, let's go to PA colors. Um, and let's go down here. There are many um, colors you can choose from. So basically, these um, changes the color of um, color theming of your apps. Um, what stock UI does is basically 
makes your phone from like the normal settings. Fablet basically makes a Fablet UI like the Note 2 and all that other cool stuff. So it makes it very big. See as you can see here, everything's bigger and it looks big. So yeah, um, let's go here. How do I do this? Um, I I never use this. Um, if you guys want to use it, but you can. I recommend you guys doing it, but I don't really personally like it. So yeah. Um, you can go to tablet UI, 1000 DPI, that's pretty beast. See, now I have my status bar all the way here. Tooch. What is wrong with it now? Um, See, so yeah, I got my home screen buttons here, so. That's always a neat feature to have. I don't really see the point having it. But the great part of this is that you can change the DPI of each of your um, applications. As so, let's just change back to stock UI. Um, wait, interface. Okay, um, let's just say if we are in a Apex Launcher. See, we're in Apex Launcher right now, and let's just say if we want to change the DPI, I've got my Apex Launcher here. It's at 320 right now. Let's change it all the way to 160. Now, look at the icons and how they change drastically. Look at that. Look at the launcher. It's big. This is like tablet. So I always like that, but not really. So let's go change it back to 320. Just like that. It's back to normal. So these are the main functions of this ROM. Lock screen, theme, system, ROM control, and hybrid properties. Um, This is running 4.2.2. Android. With all these cool lock screen widgets everyone loves, don't they? And of course it's got the camera UI here. Beautiful 4.2 touch launcher. So yes, um, let's go back to Apex launcher. And it's very fluid and fast as you can see here. So um, you can't overclock with this ROM yet. Um, you could add a different kernel as you can see it's still clocked at one. 400 megahertz and 200 megahertz you can change all these cool settings down here I don't recommend you messing around with them if you're not knowing what you want to do and of course you have to be rooted for this ROM and yes guys that is the review of my ROM so I like this ROM a lot but there are a few cons like this um, nav bar here which I do not like and Pi controllers or um, here as well, but I've disabled it as I do not like it either. So yes, that's the review of my ROM. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Give your opinions and I will see you guys back in my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.